<laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. All right, we are, we are up. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at all your comments over on the Facebook group. You guys are, are good and patient. I appreciate that. Say hello if you're here with me. I'm just going to hop over and see if you can see me okay. All right, I see we've got about 30 people hopping in. This is great. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited to be with you guys for the next 45 minutes to an hour. Hi, you guys. Okay, now I can see you in the comments. This is good. <laughs> Julie, yes, good things come to those who wait. I am not removed from technology and its issues. Just so you know, if you ever feel alone in that, I've been doing this for nine years and I still have these unplanned glitches. Anyway, here we are. Can you guys hear me and see me okay? Julie, Denise, Catherine, hello, Brandy, Heather, Lisa, Sarah, Melissa, Susie, Kelly, Sherry, Sarah, Maggie, Laura, Claire, Angie, hello. Jill, it's great to see you're on. Am I good to go? Awesome. Okay, this is so fun, you guys. We're trying a new format, and I promise next time it'll work better. Um, I have been in the online space, as I said, for almost 10 years, teaching in this way. My, my heart and passion is to connect with people around the world and through our whole fit community um, that's been growing for the last three to four years. We now have almost 40,000 people all over the world that use essential oils. This is fantastic, right? It is so incredible to think about the power of each of you and your journey. I want you just to pause for a moment and, and grab your favorite oil. I'm putting a little peppermint on right now. I'm really hot up in my, my new office. Yes, Denise, this is my rock climbing wall. See that, it goes up about 40 feet. So I have that in my office for, um, you know, those times when I need to get out of a funk and hit the wall, right? So I have my peppermint on, it's a little bit hot up here. Pick your favorite oil and I want you guys to, um, to just connect and, and ground with me right now. And um, I want you to think about what interested you in, in joining this class tonight. So I'm basically taking you through an Essential Oils 101 class. I've taught this class hundreds of times. Uh, most, most often I taught this class in person. In, in the first couple years that we were beginning this natural health movement. And now a lot of the time I'm, I'm online with you guys or out teaching a class for a brand new educator on our team. So this is one of my very favorite classes because this is where the most exciting journey begins for you, for most people. Um, I wanna see in the comments, how many people we have that are brand new tonight? Maybe you've never attended an essential oil class before. Maybe you were invited by somebody on our team. Uh, we're super excited for what you're going to learn in the next 45 minutes. And my goal as your teacher is to break down this information in a way so that you leave tonight thinking, you know what? I could do that. I could make these small changes that will add incredible value to my life and, and begin that journey. Welcome, Catherine. You just got started in July. Amelia's brand new. Stacy's brand new. Kat's brand new. Keep it coming. You guys are in really great company. I see we have about 100 people right now. Hi, Lindsay. So excited you can make it. Um, we've got some of our incredible educators on this class right now. So feel free to ask questions as we go. Welcome, Fallon and Melody. So awesome to have so many new people here. So I am screen sharing tonight. You should see um, just off to the side of my face <laughs> the class presentation I'm going to go through with you guys tonight. And I basically want to review what it means to, to live this natural health lifestyle, lifestyle using our favorite key tool being essential oils. And um, we really believe in the power of turning to the gifts that nature has given us in order to support our bodies in doing the healing that they know how to do. And so I wanna review a couple of key things with you guys tonight. We're gonna to go through what essential oils are. We're gonna talk about how the sourcing 
affects the plant magic, you guys, because it's, we live in a day now where a lot of the world has taken notes on what doTERRA is doing. And so you're seeing, you know, what could be labeled as 100% pure essential oil at the dollar store or at Michael's or at Best Buy or, or wherever. I mean, honestly, there's, there's really not a single company today um, besides, you know, Apple and BMW and Lululemon that haven't started their own essential oil line, right? Like there are a lot of brands that are sticking in their lane, but we are seeing that a lot of different companies are coming up with essential oils. And what you're gonna to learn tonight is why doTERRA is the world leader, why there are over 4.5 million people all over the world that are using doTERRA essential oils. But not only that, this year is going to be a year that marks history because this year you will start to learn a lot about a lot of the work that doTERRA is doing with the medical community, okay? Um, there is a bridge being formed right now between the natural health community that doTERRA has really led a powerful movement within and the modern medical community, okay? So cool, I love reading your comments. I'm gonna hop back and see some of your comments, but I'm gonna get super focused right now in the class for you guys and serve up this value. I'm so pumped you're here. And then I'll come back and take a look through your comments and answer some questions at the end. Does that work for you guys? Okay, so I'm gonna just um, focus on my screen here. And I will pull up the class so I can see what you guys are saying as we go. Okay, so what I want you to think of as you're just joining us right now is what area of your health are you wanting to impact first? I've been in the coaching industry now for about a decade. I've worked with thousands of women um, over the, that, that period of time, initially starting off working with people just one-on-one, -on -one, and I moved to group work, and then I moved everything online and opened up a health school, and I've been working with people for a long time, and I, I understand the basics of what creates success within our goals, okay? And the number one thing to realize is that you can't take everything on at once. So I want you all to think about, you know, what is that one area of your health? This could be emotional, physical, spiritual, financial, right? We, have, we, we are very, we're multifaceted beings, right? We have a lot of different things that actually paint the total health picture and, and create more joy and happiness and success in our life. So write it down, you know, think about that one thing, because I do want to make sure that you leave tonight knowing there is a solution in place. Now, there are some things that I believe, okay? I believe that many people have no idea how great they should feel. I believe there's a time and place for modern medicine, but I also believe that we need to be exploring nature's solutions before we reach for something synthetic. And I'm gonna crack that open a little bit with you guys in the class tonight. I believe our body was designed to heal itself, and it will when it's given the right tools. Okay, we're gonna talk about the pillars of health. Lastly, I believe that our behavior is an expression of our beliefs. You know, we live in a day and age where, where the access to information today is like never before. We can't quite say anymore that we just didn't know any better. And you know, the fact that an important friend in your life invited you to a class like this tonight that's free, we are going to learn more in this class than what you've likely ever paid for. With this information, you're going to be able to make different choices for yourself. And I want you to really check in on your belief of how you feel you should feel in your body. Do you agree with me? Because I believe you are meant to, do, to feel vibrant and confident and strong in your body and capable and most of all, empowered. Now, one of the reasons I work with mostly mothers, I, my heart is for women because I know women typically in most homes, guide the trajectory of health in that home. Um, I know that I can influence a lot of things in my home. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm in an industry, I'm in an industry um, that some would label as sales, okay? But I actually come from the school of thought that life is sales. As a parent, I know with my kids, I'm constantly in a sales transaction, right? How many of you moms feel me? And I know that if I make a decision the home is most likely gonna to have to follow my lead, okay? And so if you believe that you have the opportunity to be empowered in your home and be the guide in your home, then you're gonna love this class, okay? 
So the intersection of my purpose, I, you know, I'm the founder of Whole Fit. I started this community about 10 years ago. The intersection of my purpose came from great pain. And I don't always talk about this with you guys, but what I do want you to understand is most of the time when you see somebody who has a fire for something, and, and my topic, or my, my fire really comes from wanting to empower people so that they never feel as though they don't have an option. Because I have found myself, like many of you, in situations in my lifetime, you know, on the left of the screen, you see a picture of me and my daddy when I was little. He passed away of cancer when I was 10 years old. And I know many of you have been struck by that in your own home. And I grew up my whole life knowing my dad fighting cancer. And it really, we had a lot of different kind of conversations around our table because of it, right? And I saw my dad go through a lot of different courses of treatment and and fight the good fight, you know, but he did lose his life when I was 10 years old and that impacted me deeply. Um, when I was 16 years old, my baby sister died of leukemia. She was on, she was just about four years old. She was diagnosed when she was three. And I, it, it's hard to actually define what kind of seed this plants in someone's heart. And I, I know so many of you can connect to what I'm saying. We, we've all gone through very difficult things in our life. And I think that what happens through these times is, is we become a different person. We start to ask different questions, right? And some of us go, you know, we often will go one of two ways. Um, sometimes we will actually go in the direction of believing that we don't have a choice, that we aren't in control of what happens. And, and obviously there are certain things in life that happen out of our control. But I do believe that we are given a lot of opportunities to live in a different way and to influence our future with our decisions today. What really kind of brought it all home for me was when I became a mom for the first time. And I have a picture of my, my daughter Emerson on the screen. You can see part of the rash in her skin. To be honest, we didn't have a lot of pictures of her when she was a little girl, her whole first year of life. She um, had eczema, like full blown all over her body. And at the time, I thought I was doing really good in our home. You know, I, I didn't really wear a lot of fragrance at the time. I was starting to get into a lot of clean living and making my own products. Um, and it turns out it was a simple purchase of laundry detergent I had been using for about eight months from uh, Costco. And it was healthy. In other words, eco and natural. But it had natural fragrance in it. And this was sitting on her skin all the time. And, and I, it was the last thing I thought of. And some of you may have used my... Um, DIY laundry detergent recipe. It, it is probably the most used recipe, most visited blog post I've ever done on my website, wholefit, H-O-L-F-I-T.com, because it works, it's cheap, and it's effective, um, but it, it is great for anyone who has kids that are struggling with this. And I really believe our, our children are teaching us where we need to go. And I just got a real fire in me when I became a mom, it was like the intersection of everything I've gone through in my life. And I realized my journey has, has been for me to step up and be part of the, be a leader within this movement and to impact as many people as I can to not feel the way I sensed our family felt growing up. So I, I just wanted to share that with you to connect with you. And before we kind of go into the the, the meat of tonight's class. I want you to understand the, the situation we're in right now, okay? And a lot of you know this. A lot of you have actually, you know, you, you're, you're very aware of what I'm going to share with you right now. And, and maybe that's why you're here. Um, so in our world today, we basically have two models that are existing. And um, we, you know, we've had the one model for a long time, the natural model, right? It is not a new age to be using essential oils. They've been used for centuries. But what we have more commonly is the modern medical model, okay? Now this system was set up to deal with acute disease and emergency situations brilliantly. I'm sure many of us have been in an emergency situation. I had a C-section, um, an emergency C-section with my, my first child, Chloe, and I would have died had it not been for the advancements within our medical system. I lost 80% of my blood um, after that C-section and it was it was terrifying, you guys. And I mean, at that point, I was, I was so grateful for what was available to us and we need to be very grateful for that where we live. However, today our system is so burdened by the epic proportions of chronic disease that exist. And it has unfortunately 
created a bit of a, a, a beast within the system, okay? So we have the pharmaceutical industry that exists today. They are the most profitable of all US businesses today. In fact, many of you probably know this, just a quick review. In the States, not, so, not in Canada so much, we don't see the same kind of marketing going on here, but it is becoming just as much of a problem. But in the States, um, it is the only country in the world where pharmaceutical companies are allowed to directly market drugs to consumers through things like commercials. It takes about $21 billion a year to do this kind of marketing, okay? So even though in North America, we make up 5% of the world's population, we consume almost 50% of the drugs. So a lot of people find themselves in our classes today because they and or their children have an extreme dependency on drugs. And this is not going anywhere good, right? If we have this dependency at an early age, this becomes a problem. So when we take, you know, a pharmaceutical drug, which is an isolated synthetic agent that is designed to mimic the power of nature, most pharmaceutical drugs today began as something that existed in nature. When we introduce that to our body, we create a problem because it's, it's ignorant to think that we can take an isolated chemical and create an isolated experience. Okay. So the body ends up having to redirect a lot of its healing efforts. Whereas when we take something from nature, on the contrast that we're talking about tonight, it meets the body's needs. It supports the body in doing the work it intelligently knows how to do. And the body heals itself. So it's a different cycle that's existing. And I always like to review this with you because a lot of people find themselves in these classes because of this situation. Um, I just want to connect you to a couple of resources before I move on, okay? There was a book I read a couple years ago called Selling Sickness, and it basically cracks open the pharmaceutical industry. So if you want to actually educate yourself and understand more before you go in for your next health appointment with your practitioner, it's good to know some of the other side of the story. There's a documentary that I've shared notes on before. Some of you have read my posts on it um, called Prescription Thugs. And they give a lot of startling facts of, of what's going on today. So, you know, I say all this not to overwhelm you or scare you or anger you, um, because I really, I, I want you to know, I, I totally agree and understand there are situations that require us to be dependent on this model. But are there areas in your life where you can start to um, move in a more natural way so that your overall, your tipping point is not as effective, affected, okay? So those are just a couple of resources I wanted to connect you to. So, you know, change is here. <laughs> um, it's not even just coming, it, it's here. We, we see now that the average lifespan of children is lower than their parents. However, we see adults today living longer but with a poorer quality of life. So we really have this situation where the dependency on the medical model is happening at a much earlier age. People are living longer, but that quality of life is not where it should be. And so like my dream and my, my dream for all of you that, that wish to make these kinds of changes is that you live a long life with a higher quality of life and that we're not part of these statistics. The system is incredibly burdened. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not sure how this ship is going to turn around without people taking control of their health back, right? So, if healthy living was simple, what would that look like? When we talk about the lifestyle pyramid and our focus within doTERRA, this is the healthcare model within doTERRA, okay? So, each of these bases builds upon each other. We know that eating right is one of the most important things we can do for ourselves. And as people start to make different choices with their food, what they're bringing into their home, they start to experience their medicine within their kitchen. Um, the, the more that you, you, you shift your budget, so, and, and this is a, a tricky place for people to start sometimes, but you know, eliminating some of the, um, the meat that's filled with hormones and non-organic foods, even one day a week makes a huge difference. So start small, start where you can right? Try to eat more food that's not in a package. This is actually the raw material your body wants to work with the most. Now, moving your body every day, bringing life into your cells and releasing through sweating is the second most important thing you can do. 
In fact, with those two things and having more of a focus in those areas, you can accomplish a lot. You can start to tap into the person that you are meant to be and, and how you were designed to feel just through those two things. When those two things are not in alignment or when we have an individual who is actually doing, you know, like 70 to 80 percent in those areas and they want more, they want like the juice of life. They really start to look at the next two things. They start to focus on how they can upgrade their sleep to actually have an important rest period every night how they can start to manage their stress levels because stress is at the root of all chronic disease and inflammation. It is all, and, and you know, this is why sometimes, how many of you can think of somebody that you knew that was really healthy that all of a sudden had a heart attack or got that diagnosis? Often it's the stuff we don't see. It's the, it's the conversations in their mind. It's the way they experience life. It's the, it's the way they are actually handling situations that come at them and without tools. This can become very out of alignment and create dis-ease. Now, reducing toxic load is that fourth category, and it is becoming a big problem today. I, I teach whole programs and webinars just on this topic because we are so exposed today. It is not how it used to be, okay? Um, some of you are having some issues I see online. If it freezes or you, or you can't get into the class, just hop out and come on back in. It'll keep playing, okay? Now, reducing toxic load is where you will be able to perhaps make the biggest impact with your essential oils, because this is an area where you're going to be able to take your control back, stop buying all the things, okay, and actually start to bring more, um, more uh, products into your home that have side benefits as opposed to side effects, okay? So this is the new healthcare model, and this addresses the whole person. Keep in mind, you know, one thing I always think about, I wonder how many things we are exposed to today, you know, and I'm not going to go deep into detail here, but I want you to think about some of the things that are happening right now. Perhaps you're a mom and you go in for your first visit with your child to your doctor. I want you to think about some of the systems and agendas that are going on right now. And I wonder how many of these things we will look back on in 20 years and have the same reaction as we do to looking at this. You know, it wasn't that long ago that, Doctors would recommend a specific brand of cigarettes. Or let's say you go with your baby and your baby is having colic. Your doctor would actually recommend Coca-Cola in the bottle. Okay. So th these kinds of things, um, we have to remember that things change and often things are seen as crazy before they're accepted as truth. Okay. So who's ready to dive in? We're halfway through. My talk right now, I want to spend the next 30 minutes talking about essential oils. So what are they exactly? You know, we some of you have a bottle in front of you right now. I have my peppermint in front of me. If you have a bottle, I invite you to please grab it. And I want you to put one drop into your hands. I'm going to talk about what oils are and the three ways to use them. And we're going to talk about what makes doTERRA so unique, you guys. In the land of 100% pure oils from Dollarama, what makes this so different? So essential oils, if you have a drop in your hand, and you can see right now, I put a drop in my hand. It's quite liquidy. It's actually not really like an oil at all. So it doesn't have the viscosity of a lipid, like a, an olive oil or a coconut oil. It's not like that kind of an oil. Essential oils are volatile, aromatic compounds, okay, which means they actually evaporate very quickly. So this one drop of peppermint I have in my hand right now is actually filling my office right now. If you were sitting in this room with me right now and across the room, you'd actually start to smell it because this is the pure, real deal right now. This is working its way into the air and starting to provide all the beautiful benefits we're going to go through. So essential oils are extracted and distilled from plants, from various parts of the plant. So on the screen, you see an example of a peppermint leaf. Okay, It's magnified about 300 times there. We see a little stack. This is where the essential oil is extracted and distilled from. Now, sometimes when you have something like, I have my tangerine blend here. I've got about a quarter left of this bottle. I'm so glad doTERRA just brought this back as like a standard essential oil. So pumped about that. Tangerine and all citrus oils are actually distilled from the peel through compression. So you've actually experienced essential oil most of your life. If you ever, around the holiday season, peel the tangerine or an orange, those aromatic compounds, 
that were on your hands that filled the room and made it smell so nice, that was essential oils. So pretty cool, right? Even before anyone to introduce you to doTERRA, you've experienced the magic of plants. So the aromatic compounds, I'll, I'll, I won't go into too much detail, but in a couple of slides, I'll explain what actually makes an essential oil effective. They're very concentrated, okay? So even that one drop of peppermint, it is estimated that that is the equivalent of almost 30 cups of peppermint tea. That's how intense peppermint is. Now, doTERRA's peppermint, you will notice, if you ever had a, another brand in front of you, you will notice how much more concentrated it is. It is the most pure and the most potent essential oil you can buy in the entire world. And doTERRA, through its sourcing model, which we'll talk about in a minute, they find where in the world a plant grows where it's going to have the perfect constituent profile. So there are a couple of different grades. You know, why can you buy essential oil at the dollar store? Why have you found essential oils in your toothpaste, in your chewing gum, in your shampoo most of your life? Why do you find some essential oils at the health food store? Well, the main reason is, is it's not a governed industry at all, okay? So this is why when you go to the dollar store or to Best Buy, you could see a bottle of peppermint that says 100% pure. And everybody has essential oils right now, right? We talked about this earlier on. Those of you that jumped in a little bit late, I want you to think about where you were today. 7-Eleven, Winners, Michaels, Best Buy, they all probably have essential oils out, right? Because everybody's watching what's going on right now, and doTERRA's leading this movement that's really causing quite the frenzy in, in our world, the disruption within the health communities. Because so many people are taking their health back into their hands, okay? And that, that upsets people who don't have their heart in the right place. It upsets brands who think they need to get onto the hot product of the day, right? So we see all these different brands out there right now. Synthetic is basically your man-made essential oil. So it's going to smell a little bit like peppermint, but it's not going to do a single thing in your body, okay? You might try that peppermint on your temples, and it's not going to ease any tension at all. It's just going to smell nice. You might walk around, and people will think you smell like a stick of gum. Now, food grade, the FDA monitors this to make sure that companies aren't putting anything into the food, like your your toothpaste that has cinnamon or peppermint essential oil, they want to make sure that that's not going to harm you or kill you. So um, it can have uh, a dangerous chemical profile, but it's not going to be the pure plant. Now, therapeutic grade, which we're talking about right now, this is the pure plant. And doTERRA's grading is called CPTG, okay? Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And what this means is doTERRA, because there's nobody watchdogging this industry, when doTERRA started, what, nine years ago, they developed a set of standards to basically say to you, we promise you, we assure you, that when you see this stamp on our oils, this is what it's going to mean, okay? So what do you guys already know about doTERRA before I go on? Uh, you know, throw it up into the comments. For those of you that are maybe brand new, what have you heard about doTERRA before? Have you heard about their sourcing? Have you have you ever tried a doTERRA oil? Um, have you been out to a class? You know, what do you know about doTERRA and the work it's doing around the world? Because doTERRA is becoming more of a household name. When I first came across them uh, just about four years ago, I had been using lots of different oils from the health food store. I had never met a single person in Canada that um, used doTERRA. And in fact, the person that introduced me to essential oils and to doTERRA um, is from the States. So I didn't know about them, but a lot of you know about doTERRA. Ginny said life-changing. Julie said best essential oil company in the industry. Um, they have absolutely set a new standard in the industry. We see a lot of companies trying to do what doTERRA is doing, but you're going to learn in a minute why that's actually not even possible. So there are two things, you guys. There's only, there's, well, no, I'm, I'm going to actually share three things with you. There are three things that you will come to love about doTERRA. And I'm only talking about the products within this, okay? I'm not even talking about the community and the people that it has attracted to this movement. But number one, we have sourcing. If you're on um, your laptop or computer and you wanna open up another browser right now, I'd encourage you to bookmark the website source2you.com. And I want you to remember this website the next time 
somebody says to you, oh, I use oils. I have a brand way better than doTERRA. Or, oh, doTERRA is just overpriced. You can just use, you know, this brand from the mall. It'll do the same thing. Or our oil, it actually has the ability to permeate the cells better. doTERRA is garbage. You know, anytime you get into these conversations with people, this, you know, this is basically the website, you guys, that every other essential oil brand out there did not want to have launched. Because what this website did was it brought transparency to an industry that is hiding a lot. And I mean, if you have ever looked into the, um, the fragrance industry or the skincare industry, it's the same demons going on in there. There is nobody telling these companies, you can't put th those thousands of toxic ingredients in your fragrance to make it smell like lilacs. That's going to damage that person's lungs or and kill their nose cells. There's nobody telling these companies that. And similar to the essential oil industry, without transparency, when you have a concentrated bottle of oil and you have fillers and synthetics and dangerous chemicals in there just to make it smell like a plant, you have a problem. <coughs> so source you.com, when you go into this website, you can actually scan your bottle of oil. And up here you see an example I did with a personal bottle of my peppermint. Okay, so there's the ID number 162105. And when I scanned the bottle, it brought up what's called a GCMS report. Now, for somebody who is not trained to read these, this, this report you see up here would not mean too much to the average person. But to somebody who is a chemist, who is studying essential oil quality, or somebody who is very advanced in the aromatherapy community, sometimes you'll see aromatherapists will have their own gas chromatography machine. They will see this and they'll see, oh, okay, that is a really good peppermint right there because its main constituent, menthol, is, has the highest spike, which means that that peppermint is going to do what you want it to do in your body. Whereas if you scanned a bottle of peppermint from Best Buy, what you might find there is that that bottle of peppermint would have um, constituents that don't provide a therapeutic benefit to the body. And they may have added things to make it smell like peppermint. So a recent one that came out, there were a lot of companies that were tainting their Melissa. Now, Melissa oil, how many of you know how expensive Melissa oil is? It comes as a five mil bottle. Okay. It's one of the most expensive oils to buy. And there were a ton of companies that were found to be actually cutting the Melissa with lemongrass. And if you have ever bought lemongrass, you know that lemongrass is like one eighth of the price. Okay. Because lemongrass and Melissa share a bit of a similar aromatic experience. So to somebody not trained in using that, um, they may think that that bottle of Melissa they just bought from a company that doesn't have this transparency, they may think that it's, it's great because it kind of smell, it smells like how Melissa should. However, it doesn't have the constituents that Melissa oil needs. And I see a lot of commenting saying how much you love Melissa. Um, Melissa oil, it is like overdrive effective. My husband uses it the minute he has a little cold sore pop up, you guys. It is one of the greatest um, oils for boosting your immune system and getting your, your body back to healing. Can't say too much when I'm online, right? We gotta stay compliant, but um, look up all the benefits of Melissa. I'm gonna teach you about some tools uh, on what to, uh, how to know what each of the oils do. But this website is so important. I encourage you to spend some time on here and learn about where doTERRA sources. They create, they've created a global network. So the model that they use to source is called co-impact sourcing. Okay, so the, the beautiful part of this is that they go where the oils, where the plants grow in abundance, where they're meant to grow, you guys. They're not taking seeds all over the earth and owning their own farms and forcing growth. They're growing, or they're going where the plants are growing naturally and abundantly. And through that, they're working with the artisans and the growers there and they're helping to create and stimulate the economy there. So now you have this, this mutual abundance so that every time we use a drop of oil from where it came around the world through doTERRA's relationship with that country, we're supporting that community and that economy there. It is incredible the work that doTERRA is doing through this sourcing model. So think about, I mean, think about that. doTERRA is the largest essential oil company in the world. Over 4.5 million people are purchasing bottles of doTERRA. Think about what that's doing in some of these countries, 
you know, where this is one of their main exports. And in the past, before doTERRA came along, what you had were brokers that were basically middlemen working in between and robbing those countries of their, of their worth, of what they, you know, should have been paid, cutting them down, selling it to another company to rebottle and relabel. And that was a very broken system. And doTERRA's really impacted not only our world, but through the use of the oils affecting those countries. Quality testing is the second thing you will notice about doTERRA. When you compare a doTERRA oil to another brand, you don't need to know that all this testing exists. Your nose will actually tell you, okay? That's organoleptic testing, using your senses to actually determine, you know, what is a pure oil. I have a very good nose. I, you know, my husband would hate to know that I actually shared this, but I can smell whenever my husband has a silent burp. Is anyone with me? I think I have a nose for testing oil purity. I can, I can pick up on the faintest smells. I have very heightened senses. Okay, so my nose always, I can tell, I could actually, if you were to make a blend for me right now, I could almost pick out, like, it's weird. I can pick out almost every single oil that you put in that blend. Maybe we'll play that game next time we're in person. But I show you, I show you this image just to, just to basically give you the confidence of knowing doTERRA's oils are the most tested oils in the entire industry. You will not find an oil that is as pure as, the, as all of the methods of testing that doTERRA's oils go through after they come from the most beautiful place on earth. Okay? So the last thing I want to share is that global impact. So not only through the sourcing model, but through doTERRA's foundation called Healing Hands, they provide and empower communities all across the world to become more you know, self-reliant, right? So there, this is a, a massive foundation that many of us in doTERRA donate to monthly. Many people go on Healing Hands trips. If we have anybody in the group right now, um, that has ever attended one of these trips to go and, and help support and build one of these communities. I'd love to hear from you. Throw into the comments where you travel to. Um, but it is incredible the healing that is happening through the work that doTERRA is doing. All right, post your questions and comments. We're gonna shift gears. I wanna talk about the three ways to use oils. So I wanna come back to that bottle you might have in front of you. And I'm gonna use peppermint as an example. So with essential oils, there are three ways to use oils. Now, most, if, if, you know, if you were using oils before doTERRA, there was really only two ways you should have been using oils. Um, so the first and most common way is aromatic. So that drop of peppermint in my hands, if I was to rub my hands together and just take a really deep breath in, I'm having a powerful experience right now breathing that oil in. So when we breathe in oil aromatically, Basically what happens is the pure essential oil molecules bind to receptors and, they, and these signals are sent to the limbic brain. Now your limbic brain influences your blood pressure, your heart rate, your hormones, your emotions, your memory, right? How many of you, when you smell something, you have an instant connection with a memory, right? I mean, you think about that, you know, what's the smell for you that stimulates an instant memory? Your sense of smell is your most powerful sense, okay? Now, the thing I love about oils is the last thing they do is they control how we perceive our world. They control how we show up in our world, okay? This is why essential oils are so big today because when you're using a pure plant, it has the ability to do rewiring so that as you are in experiences that typically stimulate an anxious feeling or nervousness or fear or anger or sadness, you're able to rewire. So the emotional aspect of essential oils is one of the biggest fields. There are a lot of therapists that are using oils in their clinic with their patients to help them form different experiences with life. But for, for those of you that are just wanting to use essential oils aromatically, this is going to be the, the probably most common area for you to start in. It's just getting, you know, like a diffuser like you see on the screen there. And what diffusers do is they basically work with the essential oil and commonly with water and they disperse the aromatic compounds into the air. And what I love about that, I mean, I always have a diffuser going in our home. I have one in every room. I'm staring at three right now in my office. Um, essential oils, I mean, when I first started, like many of you, I only had one, right? But as we get going in our journey, we tend to have them in every room of our house. 
So diffusers work with the oil and disperse them in the air. And what I love about diffusing is that everybody benefits. So if my daughter comes home from school and she's brought a, a bug home with her of some kind, she's got a little cold or something going on, if I was to diffuse something like doTERRA's On Guard, all of us benefit from the clean air, from you know, from the air being purified, right, of whatever's come home. So it's it's powerful for that reason. It's powerful for shifting the mood in your home. It can actually help with respiratory support. So, I mean, I know so many people who use certain oils to support their respiratory system, oils like peppermint or breathe, and um, uh, Easy Air Blend, it's called in Canada. And by doing that, you're, again, you're assisting your body in, in the healing that it's doing. But not only that, you guys, but it's one of the quickest ways to like shift out of a situation that used to cost you a lot of energy and frustration. You know, like when you can't breathe, it kind of affects your day, right? So being able to put an oil in and just breathe in it and clear up the airways right away is so powerful. Um, and one of the things we have in our community, I, I often post about it in this group, so you've likely seen it, is this diffuser guide where I, I share a lot of those beautiful blends for you um, to add in your diffuser. Now, the second way you'll use oils is topical. So I had that drop of peppermint on my hand. I still have a little bit there. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rub the back of my neck. And by putting it on the back of my neck, it feels very cooling because, again, the main constituent in peppermint oil is menthol. Um, I think doTERRA's uh, peppermint is about 40% menthol. So it's very cooling. That is an effect of peppermint, right? Um, if I had a little bit of a, of a tension, headache or something, I would take my hands and I would just press them into my temples. It feels so good as a scalp massage or adding a couple drops to your shampoo. And by doing that, I'm drawing the blood supply, okay? So if I had a bit of a tension headache, it's going to help um, support my body in, in relieving that, okay? So topical is going to make sense when you want to go right to the localized area. So one of the things you see on the screen here is a bottle of coconut oil and a bottle of doTERRA's um, fragrance-free lotion, okay? So what I love about these is they create a nice barrier so that the essential oil absorbs nicely into the area. It actually extends the reach of the oil that you've created, the dilution, because rather than just putting a drop of peppermint on your temple, if you create a little bit of a solution, you could actually just massage it and kind of go into the back of your neck. You're increasing the surface area but you're not decreasing the effectiveness of it. So that's really important. And now diluting your oils, you guys, is super important, if, especially if you're brand new. If you're somebody who has never used essential oils before, that's amazing, Brandy. She said, I, I put peppermint on my temples and the back of my neck when I have a headache and I haven't used over-the-counter meds in six to eight months. Right on, I love it. So um, diluting your oils if you're brand new is so important because again, when you're using doTERRA, these are the most pure and potent oils you can use. Now, if you're buying oils from the dollar store, we're going to get you out of that habit, but you probably wouldn't have too hard a time putting an oil like that straight on your skin, to be honest. Um, with doTERRA, you're definitely going to want to dilute when you're brand new. So the best way, when you're first getting started, and this is a nice, simple recipe to remember, just add one drop of your essential oil to about a teaspoon of a carrier, like your coconut oil or, or the body lotion. Okay, um, so always dilute when you're when you're just starting out, and, and a lot of people continue to always dilute. Um, I have pretty tough skin, and I've been using oils for about ten years, so there's, there's a lot of times where I won't dilute my oils, but that's just my body, and I, I know what works for it. Okay, um, and you can see some of the collections of products DoTerra has there, where the oils are actually infused into the products. I'm going to give you my top three products at the end today. Now, the last way is internal. So the last way I would use that drop of peppermint is in my water. Now, this is, if, if there's anybody on the live class right now that is looking for like a really quick highway to easing digestion and, and just supporting better digestion in their body, here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna put a drop of peppermint in a glass of water and drink that and then you're gonna take a blend that I'm gonna go through with you when I get to the top 10 oils called um, Digest Zen or Zen Just in Canada, and you would apply that topically. Try it and write me when you're done. You'll be amazed. So peppermint and water is really cool. It kind of helps to calm the digestive tract. That's a great example of an internal yeast oil. A lot of people use um, citrus oils like lemon or tangerine is awesome. I love this is available all the time now. 
Tangerine actually has the highest limonene of all the citrus oils. And limonene, if you guys want to hop over to Google after class, look up limonene and health benefits, and you'll be pretty amazed at what limonene does. And limonene is actually sold as a supplement on its own because it's so cleansing in the body. So that's that's just one example. Um, the, the supplements doTERRA creates have a lot of um, essential oils built into them. You won't find that anywhere else in any other company. So um, it's really cool. It's 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 um, it's not the place a lot of people start, but it's great to know you have the option when health has been derailed. Um, using essential oils internally are going to have a more effective uh, more effectiveness on on the issue that you're having. So really quick, okay, because this is like I don't want to get too overwhelming um, with this group, but. When we, when we think about oils, we want to know like, why in the world do they work, right? We have to think about how micro our cells are. So we have like 100 trillion cells. They communicate with each other through pulses and through the hormonal system. Toxins in our body block communication, okay? What essential oils do, have the ability to do, is basically cleanse the receptor sites of our cells. The phenols... Um, which we find in sesquiterpenes. So there, there's there's three different types of oils, phenols, sesquiterpenes, and monoterpenes. The sesquiterpenes, they kind of govern the health of the cells, okay? So these would be oils like, you know, sandalwood. Sandalwood is such an incredible oil, or myrrh. And then monoterpenes, these, are, um, these help to kind of reset the DNA, okay? in our body. So here we see a lot of the, the, the limonene containing oils, grapefruit, orange, lemon, the cleansing, frankincense. So we have to understand there's a lot going on with essential oils. And, and you know, when we actually contrast that with a man-made synthetic drug, which has an isolated effect in the body, this is why, you know, often I hear people say, well, how many drops of oils should I be using at a time? And how often should I use them throughout the day? And the, the problem with that question is it's being asked from a mindset comparing it to drugs. You know, we know when we take a drug, we only take a certain pill every four to six hours or something like that. With essential oils, they're different in every body and they metabolize a lot quicker. You know, usually by um, anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours, that essential oil has metabolized completely. So if you wanted to use that oil again, it, you can, and you might even increase your dose if you didn't get the um, the benefit that you were expecting. Okay, so we can't really we can't really look at them the same way. They're very they're versatile, and they're changing all the time. And our body knows how to how to work with essential oils. It doesn't create that same chaos. Last uh, slide here about safety. Um, a couple of things I wanted to cover off um, in the summer, which we are right now. Citrus oils are photosensitive. So when we're talking about lemon or orange or grapefruit or tangerine, you don't want to be putting them on your skin, okay? So in the summer, you don't want to be making yourself, you know, a, a lemon or a bergamot tanning oil. Not a good idea because you're going to burn like crazy. So keep your citrus oils for more in the wintertime or for diffusing or for using internally. It does not create a photosensitive situation, okay? Um, there are hot oils like oregano, thyme, cinnamon, clove. So these are ones you would definitely want to dilute. Okay. <clears throat> so are we ready? I just want to go through these top 10 oils. These are the oils that are in the majority of the kits that a lot of people start with. So this is our one of the most common classes that we teach. And you're going to find as I go... There's not a lot that I don't use essential oils for in our home. And I'd love to hear from some of you on what your favorite ways to use the oils are as I pop them up individually. Um, I had a friend that, that was visiting from the States last week and she had a headache and she was looking for Tylenol in my cupboards. And I'm like, sorry, dude, we have no medication in our home. I haven't had it for years. And I, we did a little peppermint um, and frankincense approach for her headache and it was it was gone and she was blown away like she couldn't believe that there was something out there that um worked better and faster that didn't give her you know that feeling of losing sleep at night because of popping a pill so um that was a cool experience to share with her so these are the top 10 oils i want to go with you and actually on my desk here i have the essential collection kit which is the smaller five mil 50 drops per bottle 
um, kit. This is like a little mini sampler kit, starter kit. Uh, you know, a lot of you might have started here. Um, throw it up in the comments if this is the kit that you started with. So I'm going to go through those, those 10 oils with you. So number one, we have peppermint. I've been talking about this one uh, quite a bit already through the class because I've got it right in front of me. It's actually my very favorite oil um, in all of doTERRA land because it just, I, it, it, I don't know, for me, I just love the way it makes me feel alive and energized every time I smell it or when I put it on my skin. My favorite diffuser blend in the morning is peppermint and wild orange together. It's so invigorating. My favorite cleaner, that I have in almost every room in my house is, I'm gonna talk about the On Guard cleaning concentrate in a moment, but I use that and then I add some peppermint to it. I love our, our hand soaps, having peppermint in them and having that little, like I just love it. My favorite ice cream growing up was mint chip. I, like, I love, I adore peppermint. So here's the, here are some of my favorite ways to use peppermint. Cool, Sarah says she started with this kit and loved it. She went through her bottles quick while making her own cleaning products. That's super common. In fact, most of us here in this group will probably, if we're being honest, say we wish that we had gotten with a kit a little bit larger because we start playing and it gets so fun and we go through our bottles pretty quick. So um, peppermint, comment in our group with some of your favorite ways to use I'm gonna give you like my top two or three for each of these oils, okay? So number one I've shared, it's one of my favorite blends to diffuse. It's also, I always have a bottle of peppermint in our car because my girls, even if we're just going for like a 10 minute drive, they get car sick. And I know it's not because of my driving. <laughs> so it's obviously them, it's their problem. So I will just be driving and I'll take the cap off and I'll pass it back. And they just breathe it in and it is so calming. They love, like, they love it, it just helps them instantly. So again, it helps, you know, for driving or any kind of motion sickness. If you're going on a cruise, it's going to be really effective. Digestively, it's brilliant for helping with any kind of digestive stress, bloating, gas, right? Um, and again, you can dilute this. You can either add it to your water or you can apply it topically. Sarah says she adds it to black bean brownies. That's amazing. It's so good to cook with you guys. Um, we made uh, chocolate cookies over here today. We forgot to put it in there. Um, I'm just reading some of your comments. Brandy said peppermint for headaches, blends for sleeping at night, and hot water when she's not feeling well. Miranda said her teens diffuse it while doing homework or studying. Brilliant. Peppermint and rosemary, you guys, is incredi they're, they're incredible oils for memory and for stimulation when you have to focus. Um, Denise said peppermint's her favorite for head tension, long distance driving, keep her alert. And our favorite is to bake with it. So it's such a versatile oil. And one thing I didn't mention that I love to do, and I don't think I have a lip gloss tube here, but I love adding it to my lip gloss. So I'll add like one or two drops. That's all you need. And it's just, it's so, it's so good. Like every home needs doTERRA's peppermint. Um, you'll find, as I'm talking to you guys, doTERRA.com. If you hop over there, you'll see that there's a whole DIY recipe section. Peppermint's going to be in a lot of those recipes where you want like the cooling, the stimulating. So you can see that one of the recipes they recommend you try making is the whipped peppermint foot lotion. The coolest part about this lifestyle, you guys, is you will end up making everything. Like you'll, you'll never go and buy a fork out money at the drugstore or the health food store again because it's actually so easy to make your own products. So make sure you take some time to look at doTERRA's um, DIY section. And um, if you're brand new in our community, one of the things I did right off the bat when we started was I created that Whole Fit Hippie ebook, which has all my favorite recipes in it. So just message the person that helped you get started and they'll make sure you have a link to that ebook. Okay, oil number two is lavender. So if you have your lavender, I, I invite you to join me in just inhaling and easing away any feelings of tension or anxious feelings. It's very calming. Um, so that's what we often think of when we think of lavender is we think about sleep, we think about calming, um, perhaps taking a bath with it. A lot of you love adding lavender to some coconut oil or some Epsom salts and, and soaking in the tub. You might need about three drops and that's it. So the one thing I always like to mention with lavender is it's actually often referred to as the Swiss Army knife of oils because it has so many different applications with the body. And what I, I want you to remember is the next time you have anything funky going on with your skin, reach for your lavender. It's super calming. Um, it has been referred to as nature's antihistamine. 
So anybody who deals with seasonal issues, okay, um, at the change of a season, a lot of people, their body starts to react. They get stuffed up or they sneeze or their eyes puff up, right? Lavender, and actually the ultimate trio, you guys, is lavender, peppermint, and lemon together, okay? We're gonna talk about lemon next, but those three oils, if you're taking notes for a friend who suffers with seasonal issues, those are brilliant. You can put them all in a little shot glass of water, take a shot of it, one drop each, or you could diffuse them in your home, one to two drops of each, or you could apply um, a topical solution. You might make a little roller bottle for yourself. And doTERRA actually has pre-made pills for this that have it in there called tri -Ease. So anything else you guys want to mention about lavender? What are your favorite things to do with it? <clears throat> So a lot of you are still on the peppermint topic in here. <laughs> Adding peppermint to coffee and making your own teas and fresh breath. What do you guys love lavender for? Wow, I have to scroll it way down. Okay, Caitlin says she uses lavender every morning to help her sleep. You must be on shift work, babe. Okay, yeah, you definitely need some tools. Um, Laura said it's in her DIY body wash. It's on her dryer balls. Oh my gosh, yes, I love using laundry in the laundry, or, uh, lavender in the laundry room. So I will add two to three drops to dryer balls. So it's really smart to get rid of um, fabric sheets, okay? They add a lot of dangerous fragments and release chemicals into the air, not healthy for our earth either. So you can go out and buy these dryer balls now, which fluff up your laundry and you can add your oils. Now I recommend you add them only for like the last five to 10 minutes. You don't need to put them in um, when the dryer is getting really hot. So often what I do is my dryer will like ding, like it's ready, and then I'll add a couple of drops to the dryer balls, throw them in with the laundry, and just like let it run for a couple of minutes to infuse it with lavender. Sleep, yeah, a lot of you love lavender for sleep, helping your kids sleep. Jen Tansy said bug bites. Lavender's brilliant for bug bites. Megan said making a linen spray. So this is the thing, and again, I mentioned this on the peppermint slide. Hop over to doTERRA.com and take a look at all the DIY recipes, and you'll find there are so many great ideas for how to use your oils. Here are, you see a recommendation for an after-sun soothing spray. Okay, so again, very healing for the skin. <clears throat> Our third oil we have is lavender, or uh, lemon, sorry. Lemon, again, is one of the citrus oils, right? So it's compressed from the peel. It smells exactly like lemon peel. It is so cleansing and purifying. It's brilliant to diffuse on its own. But I want you to think of lemon when you think of anything cleansing, whether that's internally in your water. Now, this is gonna. This is a question I'm often asked: is what's the difference between lemon essential oil and squeezing lemon juice? So the benefits of, a, of using lemon essential oil over lemon juice would be it's not going to break down the enamel on your teeth. Number one, so you don't have to like drink it through a straw like you might be doing with lemon juice. It's also gonna work deeper, okay? Again, when we talk about how tiny the molecules are and how tiny, you know, the trillions of cells that we have, it cleanses on a much deeper level, okay? And it helps the digestion. Now, lemon essential oil obviously doesn't have any vitamins or minerals. So lemon juice is gonna benefit you in that case. That's where you're gonna get your vitamin C. That's where it's gonna be very alkalizing in your system. So there are definitely benefits to both. But what I love about using a drop of lemon oil in water is it actually just gets people drinking more water, period, right? And that's really important. Um, so it helps to just help your water taste better. Um, and again, we talked about tangerine a little bit already during the class. It's my favorite for adding to water. So again, lemon for anything cleansing. Um, I use it in baking too. Lemon blueberry muffins, anything that calls for lemon rind, you're gonna use your lemon essential oil for. It's gonna work so well. Um, and often in recipes, you'll you'll replace um, whatever is called for, but but and make it like one eighth of that. So usually you'll use just one drop in your baking. Like if you're using peppermint for brownies, you're probably gonna only do like three to four drops. Lots of comments. I love your comments, you guys. It's so cool. Sarah said her dad got stung by a bee today. She told him to grab the lavender. And how's dad doing now, Sarah? <laughs> Um, Brandy said lemon, a lemon, a lemon drop in water before she eats or drinks anything. Starts off her day. Awesome. Um, Pamela said lavender is the best healing weapon for brand new mamas. And, and um, that is, uh, Pam works with a lot of new moms. So we have, actually have a baby and mama toolkit available to you guys on how to use oils. We have 
toolkits for almost all applications with the oils that are there for you to use. I'll talk about those near the end. Um, Alexander said, London is beautiful with baking soda to clean the kitchen sink. Oh, that's so brilliant. It works so well. Great for making natural window cleaners. All the cleaning, that's right. Get stains out of clothes. Amazing. Lucy asked, are citrus oils safe to add to water while pregnant? There are a lot of women, Lucy, that do, but here's my advice to you through pregnancy. Don't start anything for the first time in your body. So when I used to work with a lot of pregnant women um, as a personal trainer, and they and obviously movement was very important, and they want to um, you know change up their nutrition and everything at once, they want to be really healthy for the baby. I mean, the best thing you can do is actually prepare for pregnancy by starting with these habits we're talking about um, a year before you actually get pregnant. But the most important thing is once you're pregnant is to focus on keeping things simple, moving your body, you know, not, not starting up a marathon training, but getting out there and moving your body. When it comes to taking things like essential oils internally, if your body is actually not used to it, not the time to introduce it, okay? So I would stick, because again, you don't want to induce deep cleansing in your body through pregnancy, because that's not what your body's focused on doing. Carrie mentioned using lemon to remove sticky residue. This is the last thing I was going to mention, is as a mom, I'm always using lemon, like to remove gum out of hair, to remove, um, you know, stickers off the wall, or Sharpie marker off a dry erase board when it's not supposed to be on there. So you'll use lemon all the time. It's one of the cheapest oils. I think it's about 10 or $11 of wholesale. Um, you'll love it. So good. Okay, oil number four is Melaleuca, also called tea tree oil. It's the same thing, sourced from Australia. When you breathe tea tree oil or Melaleuca, if you have it there with you, smell it with me. It just smells so clean. It smells like first aid. It smells medicinal, okay? Very cleansing. Often you'll see it in um, skincare products for acne prone skin, right? So you can actually even take a drop of this and just put it right on a spot, okay? And it's going to dry up that area. Um, it's so cleansing. So if you have um, an area where you need to factor in first aid, maybe your child has fallen and you wanna make sure the area around the cut is clean, You'd want to dilute your tea tree oil. Use one drop in like a teaspoon of coconut oil and then massage that into the area. Very cleansing that way. Um, if you know somebody who has any kind of um, inner ear stress, can you guys read between the lines? Yeah. Um, take a drop of your tea tree oil and apply it to a cotton ball and then just gently tape that inside the ear. And that's going to work brilliantly. It'll feel so cooling on your little and it's going to go to work on that issue very fast. What I have done in the past is that one drop on a, on a little cotton ball and then I'll swipe the back of the ear with lavender. Um, now Melaleuca, you know, there are a lot of different applications. I make um, a lice spray <coughs> for um, when, when that notice comes home from school. I'll make a lice spray for my kids hair um, with basically I'll, I'll do like a, a spray bottle of water. I will often use, um, I'll just use a little bit so I'm not, because water can breed bacteria, just so you know. So um, even though the tea tree oil is in there, if you ever make these concoctions that have water in them and they start to smell weird, um, you've probably introduced bacteria into it somehow. So make only enough for what you're gonna need when you're making concoctions with water. So make a spray bottle. If you're, if you're just doing enough for the week, you might add you know, four to five drops of your tea tree oil or your melaleuca and, um, and water, and then you spray it on their hair, um, their backpacks, their hats. Uh, you can add a drop to their shampoo when you're cleaning their hair. Um, another way I use melaleuca is to sanitize our toothbrushes. So I'll put them all in a glass jar, um, like the four or five toothbrushes, and I'll add one drop per toothbrush and let soap. And that's just something that, you know, we never used to think of before, cleaning. Um, just some comments people had about um, tea tree oil. A lot of mamas making owie sprays with it. You might add um, some tea tree oil and lavender. Um, Carrie said nail stress, right? So very rejuvenating around the nail bed for any kinds of issues like that. Um, Kirby said she loves not looking for deodorant. Yeah, um, and in fact, 
a lot of people, so doTERRA makes all of these oils I'm going through in um, pre-diluted bottles. So here's the tea tree oil one. A lot of people will use this as deodorant. And what I recommend you do if you're gonna do that is roll it on the top of your hand so it's not actually coming in contact with the bacteria and then apply, okay? It, it works really well. Okay, so I'm gonna keep moving. You guys have a lot of great comments. Keep them coming, I love hearing how you use it. Julie says she once felt a sore throat coming on and only had her tea tree touch on her. She rolled it on her throat a few times before bed and felt as good as new in the morning. It's amazing. The thing with oils, because they're so effective in the body, you often can't go wrong by what you choose. It's just that there's often an essential oil that's gonna be better than, like if you had three oils in front of you, usually one of them is gonna be the best of those three for that particular issue. Okay, oregano is the next single origin oil that I wanna go through. Oregano is one of those oils that will live longer than you, okay? So the majority of essential oils, if you keep them tightly capped and you keep them stored out of light, they're not gonna lose their effectiveness. Even they, they're studying oils past 10 years after the bottle's been opened and it's still having the same effect. Citrus oils tend to not last as long. In fact, they evaporate quicker. You'll notice tangerine, for example, will actually evaporate even with the cap on, okay? It is, um, like it, it is an oil that you'll wanna store in the fridge. I like to keep all of my citrus oils in the fridge, even the ones that are not opened yet because that will help extend the life of them. But definitely keep your oils out of heat. Getting back to oregano, this oil is like your big gun oil, okay? When you really need to, to kick up your immune system, this is an oil you're likely gonna take internally through a veggie capsule. doTERRA sells a little bucket of veggie caps. I think it's about $4 for about 120 or 150 of these pills that you can make your own pills. And you'd add two to three drops of oregano when you really feel something coming on heavy, okay? Now it can also help with the other systems, digestive system, respiratory system, very cleansing. To be honest with you guys, I only use oregano when I've tried other oils and they aren't hitting it. So like my daughter once had a wart a couple years ago and I used oregano on it and it disappeared in four days. My, um, my stepdad, he used oregano on a skin tag and burned it off. So like it is a very hot intense oil. When you buy um, oregano from the health food store, it's gonna be about the same price as doTERRA's, but here's why you're getting ripped off. It's cut with 80% olive oil. And it'll tell you that right on the label. That's why it's called all, um, oil of oregano, not oregano oil. <laughs> Little food for thought. Um, and a lot of you, before trying doTERRA's oregano, you were used to adding a drop of oregano to your water. You won't be able to do that with doTERRA. In fact, you'll burn your mucosal lining. So you want to make sure that you're using a veggie cap to protect your throat if you're taking the regular internally. Or you can apply it to the bottoms of your feet and uh, one drop only, dilute it. It's going to make your skin a little itchy wherever you apply it because it's so intense. So this is why a lot of people will take it internally. Um, you know, if you're applying it topically, you're not going to want to do it in a sensitive area. Um, one of the recipes they recommend on this slide is making um, roasted marinara sauce. There's actually quite a few yummy cooking recipes using a lot of the herbaceous oils that doTERRA has, like oregano, thyme, marjoram. Um, you know, you can find a lot of different ways to cook with it as well. One drop only though with this one. Okay, frankincense. So this is the last single oil. I wanna go through and then we have four blends and we'll wrap up, okay? So frankincense oil, this is like the king of oils. This is the oil, it, it is a pricier oil, which is why a lot of people love getting started with a starter kit that has it in it, because when you buy it on its own, don't quote me on the price exactly, I don't know off the top of my head, but it, it's close to $90 for the, the standard 15 mil, uh, yeah, the standard 15 mil bottle, okay? So frankincense, the king of oils, it's going to be very effective in most situations. Um, what my favorite ways to use it are, are for my face. So I love to make my own face serum with a beautiful oil, like coconut oil, um, the fractionated version, so the, the kind of coconut oil that stays liquid all the time, or argon oil or jojoba oil. I love to add one or two drops of frankincense to it. If you have this at home, I'd encourage you to try it tonight. After you wash your face, just apply it. It's gonna actually help turn the skin cells over 
a lot quicker. Um, the whole reason that kids have such glowing skin is because their skin cells turn like all the time, like crazy. Like their their face feels like they're bum. <laughs> so they, they they because their skin cells turn all the time. It's like this natural exfoliation happening all the time. Our skin doesn't so much, and obviously as we age, things show more. So frankincense is going to go to work on that. Okay, it's also really good for calming inflammation in the body. So a lot of us health nuts, we will take frankincense internally. One to two drops a day, it's gonna help support healthy cell function. It's in, um, there's a blend of Terra Mix called DDR Prime. Very effective for supporting cell health. Um, frankincense is in there. I mean, it, frankincense is, is one of the more studied essential oils. Um, but I, I personally just really use it um, for my face and I'll use it in the diffuser. Um, so it's really good for anything skin. Oh, Denise, thank you. Frankincense is $118 at retail. Well, none of us are going to buy retail here. You're all going to buy wholesale. So I'm going to teach you how to do that, but that's good to know. Yes, Lisa, it's brilliant for scars. Actually, for scars specifically, look up doTERRA's Immortel blend. It has frankincense in it. It also has helichrysum and rose. Um, so it's actually a little bit better for, um, for scars, but frankincense will work if that's what you have, okay? Um, all right. Do you guys have any favorite frankincense uses before I hop on? Share in the comments. Good stuff. Okay. Um, so let's just talk about the four blends. Now, these would be the most popular blends that doTERRA makes. So the first two I want to focus on are the ones that you will use the most coming up when we switch over to fall and winter. Okay. The first one is called Breathe, or it's also called Easy Air in Canada. It's the same blend. It's a respiratory blend, and if you have it with you, add a drop to your hands, just take a deep inhale, and you'll notice how calming this is on your respiratory system. Do we have any moms in the room that have used Breathe with their kids? Maybe you have a child that has um, that struggles with, with breathing. Maybe you live in certain climates. Um, or maybe, you know, you have a child who gets a lot of stuffiness at night when they, when they sleep. So breathe in the diffuser. And actually, you guys, my favorite blend at night, um, especially when I want to create kind of that spa feeling in our home, is breathe with lavender. Two drops of each in the diffuser. It's so beautiful. So the breathe opens up the airways. So you're breathing better when you sleep. And then the lavender helps to calm. Okay, so really, breathe is very specific, and actually, all of these blends. I'm going to go through these four blends. They're very targeted to situations that come up, and a lot of these things are everyday life situations that, in the past, you might have just struggled through. If you're anything like me, I hated taking something when I wasn't feeling good. If I was stuff, stuffed up, I would just struggle through it. But now, I can take a drop of breathe. I can put it on the bridge of my nose or add it to my hand and just deeply breathe in, and it's a game changer. It's amazing, I love it so much. It has some eucalyptus in it, cardamom, peppermint, okay? It helps to really just open up those airways. Now the one that you'll use along with Breathe a lot through the winter is On Guard. And you guys, this is doTERRA's most popular blend, for good reason. So On Guard is a protective blend. Whether you're talking about physical protection of, you know, germs and bugs that come in your home or even emotional protection if you are around people that don't respect boundaries, simply breathing in On Guard just gives you that feeling of, okay, I've got this, okay? So On Guard is a blend of wild orange, clove, it has eucalyptus, it has rosemary, cinnamon bark, it's really spicy, it kind of smells like fall. Um, it is going to work when you need it, okay? So I take this preventatively when I know I'm going to be traveling. Recently, we moved into a new house, and I took On Guard every single day. I actually took the On Guard Plus pills. So doTERRA puts this into a pill form along with black pepper. I think there's Melissa in there as well in the pill. Um, but I just did not want to get run down. We were in a really busy time for a couple of weeks, right? We still are kind of dealing with it. So... I wanted to make sure I was supported. And anytime I'm traveling, I always take on guard for about a week before. So it's just gonna really boost the effect of your, that your immune system's having and fighting off anything that it comes up against. The on guard oil 
because it's the most popular blend doTERRA has, it's in a lot of products that they create. I'm going to talk about a couple of these products at the end because they're like my ultimate phase. Like I could not go without these products. Um, oh, I love your comments. You guys are so awesome. So as you can see, there's a foaming hand wash, a natural toothpaste, there's a cleaning concentrate. That bottle of cleaning concentrate you guys see at the top there, it will actually make 12 all-purpose cleaners. Just with that one bottle that is like 20 bucks, you can make, it's not even 20 bucks, I don't think, actually. The cleaners that you end up making will be like $2 per cleaner, and you know exactly what's in them, and that cleaning concentrate will work on anything. Red wine, your kids get in a fight and one gets a bloody nose on your white bedspread, like mine did. It'll take out the blood. It's amazing, you guys. They have throat drops. They have a, a laundry detergent that's safe for high-efficiency machines. The um, We mentioned the foaming hand wash. There's the gel caps there. Um, what's missing from this lineup? Oh, I think I got it all. Um, so On Guard, you'll diffuse a lot in the fall. You'll love the smell of it. It'll just keep your air super clean, okay? Needs that come up in life. So Deep Blue. Um, how many of you love the aroma of Deep Blue? I actually, I find it really calming. It will smell to you if you've ever used a product like Icy Hot or Tiger Bomb. It smells very similar to that. Okay, you're going to grab this when you need to feel soothed from any kind of, like let's say you've had a tough workout or it's that time of the month and you're kind of feeling crampy, right? Um, it's going to be really effective for just soothing that area, okay? Um, if I, for, for women especially, my favorite combination you can see up on the screen here is Clary Calm. The Clary Calm is a roller bottle for women that helps to really support their hormones and, and it has Vitex and Phenol and Geranium and it's just beautiful. And what I like to do when I'm entering that time of the month, and I actually, I actually use Clary Calm every morning just to support healthy hormones. Um, but if you were to just use it like the days leading up to your cycle beginning, um, you would put, I like to roll it across the, the front and then I take deep blue if I have any kind of like lower back pain and I roll it across the back. Now deep blue comes as this five mil bottle. If you were to get a kit with deep blue in it, it's gonna be you know the full strength blend and you probably wanna dilute a couple of drops of this in some coconut oil before you apply it as a massage. But doTERRA also makes it as a cream rub, which a lot of elderly people prefer um, for any kind of joint issues. Um, we have, you know, CrossFit gyms that just sell Deep Blue just for their athletes because it's, it's just so effective. And then doTERRA also has it as roller bottles, but they have two different ones, you guys. They have one roller bottle that is just the pure Deep Blue in a roller bottle. And then they have a diluted version in the touch kit. Okay, so the touch roller bottles are always diluted. So this would be uh, an easy one to get and, and use. You don't have to then dilute it any further. Brandy loves her deep blue because she does CrossFit. Right on, Brandy. <laughs> oh, great. Marianne uses it on her son for, her, for his growing pains. Rebecca said she loves it. She loves the rub for easy neck and shoulder tension. One thing I'll mention, if you have a man in your life that's not on board with using oils, Give them a back massage with some deep blue or add a little peppermint and give them a head massage and they'll be on board in no time. Vanessa says she loves the deep blue rub. Just a little on the back of her neck helps with chronic headaches and neck tension. Amazing. Okay, yeah, thank you, Jill. She reminded me that growing kids' legs before bedtime helps with occasional aches from growth spurts. So good. Jacqueline said deep blue helped her so much with scoliosis. That's great, you guys. Okay, so the last oil um, I want to mention is Digest Zen, or Zen Just, it's called in Canada. I did mention this earlier as the ultimate approach with, um, so taking peppermint in a glass of water and then making a massage with Digest Zen topically is like the ultimate approach. If you have any kind of digestive issues, don't forget that tip. It's like the best ever. So if you're traveling, you'll always want to have this with you. Um, now you can make a hot tea out of it. You could add it to your water. I personally don't do that because I cannot stand the taste of black licorice. And that is what you will smell and taste the most with this is the fennel, okay? Which is what black licorice basically is. So Digest Sun 
the way I love to take it is, is basically topically. And when I'm not feeling good, I actually start to love the aroma because I know how fast it's going to work. If you've overeaten or if you just have some, you know, occasional bloating and, and just you want some, a quick fix for it, you're going to love how quickly it works. So again, you know, these are oils that really solve very specific life situations. So I wanted to put this quick recap slide up here. These top 10 oils we went through. Usually when you buy a starter kit or, or buy them on their own, they're going to be the 15 mil bottle size. And these bottles will typically have about 250 drops per bottle. If you get the smallest kit, the essential collection, you're getting um, a five mil bottle. So there's the size difference there. And the, the small bottle has anywhere between 50 to 60 drops of oil. So it's truly a mini, like a sampler kit. But you know, when you talk about the cost per drop, you guys, when you think about life and all the times you use your oils, I mean, you won't be like me right away. I use like 30 oils a day and I just don't even think about it anymore. But you know, how most of you will start is you'll start diffusing. And when a situation in life pops up, you'll wonder, you know, I wonder if there's an oil I can use for that instead of reaching for X product or X drug or whatever. And that's how this journey unfolds for you. And when you look at the price per drop, right? We have, you know, if you look at lemon, for example, five pennies, like pennies per drop, pennies per solution. It's amazing. And these, you don't have to worry about all these crazy expiry dates, right? Just keep your oils capped tight. They'll, they'll last so long for you. So again, nice quick recap. On guard for immune support. Frankincense for cell renewal. Lemon for cleansing, oregano for immune system, melaleuca for first aid, all things skin and cleaning the skin, breathe for respiratory support, peppermint for digestive and oral health, digest zen for digestive support, deep blue for soothing, um, comfort, pain relief, and then lavender to relax and calm. If you think about all the things that go on in your home on a daily basis, Sometimes just the simple, you know, act of putting peppermint and orange in your hand and breathing them in and having more energy is a game changer, right? So there's a lot of different products. I'm going to just kind of wrap up the class. There's a lot of different products that doTERRA has created for us as solutions. So we're not going all over creation, buying things and wondering, you know, how healthy they actually are. I love having access to these products. And aside from like toilet paper and paper towels, I buy almost everything, you know, through my doTERRA account because now I don't have to, you know, go to all these places for supplements and green cleaning supplies and, you know, body care, the spa line that doTERRA has is super clean. The skincare is my favorite. I want to just like share my top three with you, if that's okay, and we'll wrap up because um, this becomes more than just using essential oils here and there. This really becomes a lifestyle of living a very clean, healthy life. My number one kit, my number one product category outside of the oils. And what a lot of you will do is you will start with an oil kit, right? And then you'll start exploring some of the other categories. What I encourage people to do is just use up what you're currently using. And when it's time for you to buy a new skincare, you definitely want to look at Barrage. It is the cleanest system out there. It is amazing. It has, it's infused with those beautiful essential oils like juniper berry and frankincense. Okay, it's just like, it's it smells beautiful. It works. If you want the glow, this is your kit for your skin. It is incredible. Um, and this is something you might order, you know, a couple months down the road after you get started with your oils. The On Guard line that we went through, if I was to pick three products out of this line that I order like every single month, you guys, it's the foaming hand wash. I have one of these in every single bathroom in my house, okay? You can buy this as the foaming hand wash liquid along with the foaming pumps. And I mean, after you use the On Guard liquid that comes with the pumps, you could make your own. There's a great DIY recipe that uses castile soap, coconut oil, and whatever essential oils you want. And you can just use them in the foamer. Um, I personally love the On Guard ones. I know my, my little girls, their hands are then really clean and protected. It's brilliant, I love it. The cleaning concentrate I already mentioned, I always have a bottle of that in my house because it's just so effective and I love making all-purpose cleaners. And like I said, what I'll do is I'll add the uh, one to two tablespoons of the concentrate to a glass spray bottle 
And then I'll add um, like five to 10 drops of whatever essential oil I want to have during that time of year. So in the fall, sometimes I'll add some cinnamon or some orange to the cleaner. Um, right now I'm just loving peppermint. So I've got it going. Um, sometimes I'll do citrus oils. Um, I might do orange and peppermint together. I've even done Arbor Vitae, which is like a woody, like it smells like a sauna. Um, I, I love Arbor Vitae. Um, so, you know, I love being able to customize my cleaners that way. And then the toothpaste is like always on our order. My kids love it. Now they have grown up with it for the most part. So some parents, um, you just have to be a little patient with your kids in the beginning, but just know, you know, you are the one in control, just like vegetables. Even if, you're, if your kids are used to the sugary toothpaste or to Colgate, you know, peppermint, blah, blah, blah. Um, then this is a great toothpaste. Now it does not have fluoride. So if you're in camp fluoride, you're not gonna go to this toothpaste likely, but I personally love it because I um, fluoride is something that is a great question to me and I don't want my kids using it personally. So, um, you know, it's one worth trying when you're home. I think you'll love it. And I, it is all I use, you guys. It is, it's whitening for your teeth. It's, it's amazing. And it has xylitol in it. Um, no, uh, no sugars in it. Okay, the last product I want to mention are the supplements. So the Lifelong Vitality, I've been on now for about three years, and it is, it's a life changer. I feel very steady, eddy energy all day long. I feel, I feel very strong in my body. Um, what Lifelong Vitality does is it really helps to fill in the gaps of even a nutritionist diet. As much as I focus on food, and, and I mean, almost everything we purchase is organic and I try to, you know, get my couple cups of greens in every day, and, but you know, I'm just like you, I'm busy, I'm on the road a lot and I, I don't always eat the best. And this is such an insurance policy for me. I feel so good um, when I'm taking this regularly. And one of the things you should know in our community that we do um, is we offer you a 30 day cleanse called the essential 30. I run it live twice a year. We actually just finished last month um, with a group of about a uh, thousand people. And we teach you about the supplements in doTERRA and we get you into a routine taking them. And so if you're curious about what I do, I have it up on the screen here, what my day looks like with supplements. Um, but life on vitality, in my opinion, it is an absolute, it's a must for anybody with an interest in having an upgraded mind um, and an upgraded physical health. It will help your energy levels. It will decrease your pain levels. It will help with sleep. It just really works with your body well, and it, it helps your oils work even better in your body too. So let's close the class. Um, I want to review with you what the top three kits are and what I'd like you guys to do because this is an open community class and you're all invited by somebody who loves you dearly. Um, they care about your health and, and maybe you've been chatting with them for a while. I want you to connect back with the person on our team that invited you to this class tonight. They're going to actually help you get started, but I will review with you how to get started, okay? Then when you connect back with them, they'll help you with any questions. So number one, um, oh, some quick questions. I'll come back to the questions at the end. I just want to respect those that have to hop off soon. Um, there are three kits that are the most popular in doTERRA. And I'm showing you right now the Canadian prices. So if you're in the U.S. or in the Australian or Europe markets, we are totally global on our team. Um, just know there is a starter kit um, sheet for your market. So this is for Canadians. So the number, the first kit I want to show you is the Natural Family Wellness Kit. This kit is $600 Canadian. Um, and you know, buying this in the kit, you actually save over $160. This would be for those of you that, you know, usually somebody who buys this kit is one of two people. You're either somebody who you're just ready to take it on. You're ready to create health in your home like now. You want to impact a lot of different areas at once, okay? You want to start diffusing. You want to clean up some of the products you're using on your body. You want to have access to the top oils, the top blends, and some of the diluted roller bottles that are really effective. Um, this, the other person that is attracted to this kit is going to be somebody that wants to be an advocate for wellness on our team. Um, because then you're going to get a, a variety of the top products. Most of our wellness advocates that want to actually share the oils like I do and, and do the business with us, they will look at even bigger kits, like the Every Oil Kit, 
because they want to have everything. So when they get out there helping people, whether it's meeting them at Starbucks or teaching a class, they've got all the oils. But, you know, the natural family wellness is really just such a great well-rounded kit. So I always like to start off with that one. You'll also receive 100 product credits to cash in. Um, and actually this month there's a promo where you'll get an additional 100, not just on that kit, but on any kit. I'll teach you about that in a second. The second most popular kit is the Home Essentials Kit. This is the kit that I started with you guys. It's the top 10 oils I just went through tonight in the large bottle size, the 15 mil. Okay, so you have like 250 drops per bottle. And you're gonna get a diffuser. The petal diffuser that you see there <coughs> is such a great diffuser for most home, most rooms in your home. Um, it's gonna serve like a 600 square foot room. It works with water, has auto shut off. You can turn the light off as well. It's like the most brilliant diffuser for your kids' rooms. I love it. Um, so this is really a kit for like, okay, let's do this. Let's get hundreds of solutions into our home. Let's get a diffuser. It kicks off your journey. Um, I just love this kit. This is the one I started with. It's started it all for me. The third kit is the Aroma Touch Diffused. Now this kit is new, okay? So in this kit, you're going to get a diffuser as well, right? But you're gonna get a variety of different oils. Um, you actually get, I believe, eight oils with this kit. So you get a couple of ones that I um, didn't actually go through tonight, such as Balance, Aroma Touch, which is a great one to bring with you to a massage, and Wild Orange, which is really popular. Um, you're also gonna get a bottle of the liquid coconut oil so that you can start diluting right away. So this is a really attractive kit for a beginner. Um, it's about the same price as the Essential Collection Kit, which is the top 10 oils I went through tonight in the smaller bottles. Now, with these kits, the reason people start with the kits is because with that, it, it includes your, um, your purchasing at wholesale. So this gives you a whole year of buying doTERRA products and oils, whatever you want, whenever you want. You can hop on in three months and purchase oils at 25% off. You don't have to purchase monthly. It just gives you access to that. I will tell you this, hardly anybody pays full price retail in doTERRA land. So of those 4.5 million people, they're all buying at wholesale because it's just so easy to do it. It works just like Costco. You know, you, you open up your account through a kit and then you get, you have a whole year of buying all the oils and products whenever you want at that discount. Now, when you join through our community, you become part of our whole fit global playground, if you will. Um, we believe in just creating a space that is inspiring and supportive of your journey where you're at. You will find the most vibrant, healthy people in our group. And one of the most important things to your success is being surrounded by people that are walking that out, that have actually gone down the path that you're going down. It, it, you cannot actually even understand sometimes how important this will be in your journey to know that there's a place you can come, like our Facebook groups, for example. In this group you're in right now, we have over 15,000 people um, that are there to help you and guide you. And one of the things you'll learn about people who live in great health and in abundance is they have a heart for helping other people. You will always find the happiest people in these spaces because they have accessed something so beautiful in their life and they just want to help other people. So this is one of the best parts of all this, but we actually really believe in adding value to your life. We, we know how important it is for you to um, just enjoy this journey and to feel like you have the resources and tools you need to do it. So we offer you two free cleanse programs throughout the year. I run them every season. Um, so you'll find out about those as they come. We offer you a welcome call. If you wanna hop on the phone and go over any questions when you get started, when the oils come in, we'd love to do that. We, we give you eBooks, like the Whole Fit Hippie Guide with all the recipes. We have a Supernatural Life series, which is a, an eBook for every month of the year that helps you, you know, gives you creative ways to use your oils. I'm just gonna turn a light on one sec. I don't know if that's any better, but the sun is going down. Now, when people get started, the number one question they have is, how am I ever going to know what to use, right? So up on the screen here, we wanted to connect you to our favorite resources. So The Essential Life is a book. 
um, that you can purchase online at either oillife.com or myessentialbusiness.com. It is our preferred resource manual. You literally will open it up and any question you have about oils, it'll tell you what to use, okay? There are different apps you see up in your screen there that you can check out. Um, doTERRA has an app called The Daily Drop, and it's free, and it'll actually give you a, a new idea every day for using oils, so it's really fun. doTERRA.com has tons of brilliant recipes for making things with your oils. There's also aromaticscience.com if you're somebody who wants to read more on the research end of oils. Now, from a team perspective, what we love to shower you with is our, our education. So you'll have access to our team toolkits, whether it's green cleaning or using oils with your kids or through pregnancy or cooking or oils and athletes. I mean, you name it, it's in there. Um, there's webinars I've recorded for you similar to this one that you'll have access to. And then a couple of our favorite website links, there is a, a website we're going to give you access to that um, is an online catalog. You basically put, type in the health concern you have and it'll tell you what oils to use. When you're getting started, you know, starting your lifestyle plan and designing the plan is really important because the last thing we want to have happen is have your oils arrive and you don't know or don't remember what to do with them. So this Live doTERRA guide, um, it's going to be sent as a link to you and your welcome email and it will give you kind of a step-by-step -step of areas to begin and give you great ideas and you know you'll just get so excited to use your oils trust me it won't feel overwhelming if you don't allow it to feel overwhelming like if you actually just look at it like okay I'm going to take on this area of my life this month and then next month I'm going to focus on another area and just treat it like this you know this journey this plan one of the things you'll get right away is our email education series. We launched this um, at the start of this year. <coughs> and it's basically an education series that will guide you through your first three months using your oils. If you're like really hungry to get started, we actually have a 13 day version, so a two week version, crash course, if you will. So the person that introduces you on our team will get you set up with this. So every week or every day, if you want, you'll be getting an email um, guiding you through your journey. Continuing education at doTERRA is the best ever, you guys. Um, so doTERRA also does a monthly webinar. So this month is all about back to school. So if you want to mark in your calendars, August 16th and 17th, there's going to be a variety of free webinars for you. Um, you can actually go to doTERRA.com and search Empowered Webinars, and it'll bring up this series so you can register for that. And then they live as a library. Okay, so in our email series, you'll get access to these as well. But... There's topics in here on women's health, yoga and oils, green cleaning, and all these great topics. So you're just always getting inspired by new ways to live this healthy lifestyle. There's our cleanse programs. So the last thing we'll close out on is LRP. This You might have heard about this program before. The Loyalty Rewards Program is an optional program, okay? But the majority of us order our oils through this because we just like getting free stuff. And it's it's really the ultimate rewards program. So basically what you do is you create your first monthly order and you pick the date each month that you want your order to come. And then every month you go and edit your order so you get exactly what you want that month. And if you only want to get a lip balm one month, that's all you have to get. And you don't even pay for your shipping, really, because you pay for it, but then you get it back in free product points. And one product point equals one dollar in essential oils. So I right now have almost a thousand dollars worth of essential oils to cash in just because of this program, and that's been collecting for about six to eight months. So it racks up super quick. This is the ultimate way to begin your lifestyle journey because you're in complete control. It, it's a that purple box that we all look forward to, it shows up on your doorstep every month. And it's going to have, you know, whatever you ordered, your supplements, your skin care, your hair care, you know, your body care, your oils, any new oils you want to check out, your cleaning supplies, all that good stuff. We're all headed to doTERRA's convention in a couple weeks, and they're going to launch lots of new products and oils there. So every year they do that. So there's no cost to join this program. There's no cost to leave the program at all. You're in complete control. This is not one of those situations where you're going to get that same skincare every month that you didn't want, <laughs> right? Like you're in complete control here. So um, we, I always like to mention that you don't have to start it up right away, but often what you'll do is you'll get your kit and then a couple months down the road, you might want to take a look at this. A lot of people do start it up right away because they have big goals for their health and they want to start getting a variety of products in right away. So it's up to you. Um, did I not put a slide up here of 
I didn't. Okay. Um, what I wanted to mention, there is a promo this month for anybody that gets started with a kit that gets started this month of August that sets up this loyalty rewards order for the first time to begin in September. And that order is at least a hundred volume. If you're just buying essential oils, that'd be a hundred dollars in essential oils. You're going to get a hundred free. So it's like your September order is free because you're going to enroll this month. Then you would set up your first LRP order for September. And if it's a hundred or higher, you're going to get a hundred back. So that's the promo this month. They usually do that kind of a promo only two times a year. So this is a really cool time to get started. I know it's only August the 8th. We're doing this class. Somebody invited you to, get, to come and listen tonight. So go back and connect with them. They, they can help you. If you have questions about that promo, they'll, they'll help you get started. You don't have to take advantage of that promo. You don't have to start up for monthly orders. Um, but I do want to make sure you know about it because it's really cool to get $100 worth of free stuff. Okay, last piece. Is there anyone on live that has an interest in being an educator? And in being an advocate for wellness, because we have a lot waiting for you on our business team. So as I mentioned, we have about 40,000 people on our whole fit essential oil team all across the world that use the oils. Um, within that, oh, within that, we have um, about 5,000 people that are doing the business. Sorry, one sec. Um, we have a massive leadership team within our whole fit team and we're all there to inspire you and support you as you grow. What often happens in doTERRA is people start with the oils, they use them, they start to heal in many ways and then they want to offer other people that. Um, and I mean, we have gym owners and health coaches and trainers and nutritionists and um, therapists and psychologists and chiropractors, I mean, you name it. We have a lot of people that are attracted to the business model in doTERRA. But for people that don't think they ever want to do this, what tends to happen is they heal so deeply using the oils through this journey that they want to help other people. And so we have a lot of juice waiting for you if that is you. Um, so I'm going to wrap up. I'll come back to the questions. I'm going to stay on for about 10 minutes with you guys if the live group has any questions. Um, but just know this is about taking small steps every day. Um, this is a community you will feel loved in and supported in and inspired in, and we get what it feels like to be brand new, because we've all been where you are. So I would say, you know, focus on getting the tools in your home. Getting the essential oils in your home is a huge, it's a game-changing decision because you're, you're literally changing the trajectory of your health, okay? Having access to whole foods, eating more whole foods in your home, committing to your personal education. I shared quite a few things with you tonight about how you can do that, all free, right? And then surrounding yourself with people that have similar goals to you. You do these things, you guys, and you win. You win. Okay, let's come back. What questions do we have in the live group? Um, I know some of you have to go. So nice to have you guys on. Here's the deal with this Facebook Live. In our essential oil Facebook group, this will always live in the video section, okay? So if you want to come back and watch this two or three times, um, I'd encourage you to read through the comments. There was a lot of great information that was shared um, from a lot of our seasoned essential oil users. And if you were brand new tonight, again, please, please go back and connect with the person that invited you. If that person was me, shoot me a quick email at heyholefit at gmail.com. I also have information on my website. My, my assistant, Jill, just put that link up for you if you want to get started. And I'm the person that has guided you this far. Um, we'd love to welcome you to our community. And we have a lot of good stuff waiting for you. And I need to call my brother back because he keeps FaceTiming me. All right. So any questions for the live group? Kat asked about good oils for fertility and hormonal support. So, Kat, what I always recommend first is strip the chemicals from your life. When we talk about our cells and our hormones communicating um, and the ligands in our body trying to do their work, a lot of the times it's an issue of toxic load. So what I'd first look at is environment. I'd look at internal environment and external environment and try to reduce your exposure to toxins so that your body can cleanse and, and heal and start communicating. Um, when you have your food in check and it's at a good 80%, you're, you're getting rid of packaged foods and chemicals, you're drinking lots of water. Now it's time to look at your oils and your supplements. So oils for fertility 
Number one, I would say get the Clary Calm Roller because it's a blend that was crafted by doTERRA for this reason, okay? What you'll wanna do is apply it every single day, morning and night. For some reason, one of the most effective places to apply this is on the inside of your ankle. Um, so you can do it there or bottoms of your feet and put your socks on morning and night and then lifelong vitality will be super important for you because there's likely gaps in your nutritional um, needs. So the lifelong vitality, and, and I would keep it as simple as that. I would focus on your perception of life, your emotional response to the heaviness that the situation can bring sometimes. So self-care, practicing just um, detaching from the outcome and being in flow and using your oils to help with your emotions and um, you know I think I think often these, these situations guide us to heal in ways that we didn't think we needed healing and um, yeah I, I trust and I know your body um, is brilliant and it's good. everything will work out for you. Caitlin said the toothpaste is it safe to use on children my son just turned one and I struggled finding toothpaste for him yes a lot of the toothpaste that are marketed to kids are nothing more than like sugar, sugar lube, okay? So um, yes, it's a great toothpaste. Now the xylitol is very good for preventing tooth decay. It's actually, it's a natural sugar. Um, it doesn't cause the issues that sugar does, but it doesn't have the dangers of aspartame. So it would be a, a similar safety to something like stevia. Awesome, Jacqueline, I'm so glad you learned so much tonight. It's great. Brenda just downloaded the Daily Drop app, awesome. Yes, great, it's free and it'll give you a nice little tidbit, something to use your oils with every day. Emma, great to have you on. You guys, are, you're so welcome, I love being on with you. Okay, Jackie, I see Jill posted my supplement routine. That's great. I actually have a supplement toolkit. Jill, perhaps if you're still on with us, you could link up the supplement toolkit. Because um, in there, I go through all of the top supplements doTERRA has and what my personal routine is and what I love about them. Okay, brilliant. Okay, great. Well, yes, you know what? I just see that, um, I just see Amelia, for example, thanked Kirby for inviting her. Comment below, you guys hop off. Thank the person who invited you so they see that you were able to attend. And if you have questions, just connect back with them. They'll help you get started. We're so excited to welcome you to our community. Annalise asked if this would be a recording. Yes. So if you actually come back into our Facebook book essential oil group and click on videos, you're going to find this recording there. It'll always be there. So I know um, you might want to come back and watch it. Maybe some of you get your kid in and you forget how to use your oils. Come back and give it a watch. Amazing. All right, you guys, I gotta go. Ah, so good to be on with you. Sorry that we had some of those issues in the beginning. Lindsay, so glad you can make it on, babe. We'll talk soon. Awesome. Okay, bye for now, you guys. We will see you online as per usual, and I will probably do more of these going forward. I, I've enjoyed this with you. So be sure to click on the video section if you ever wanna come back and watch this recording, okay? Have a good night, you guys. Go get your lavender and breathe. <laughs> Bye, Elizabeth. Nice to have you on.